Hello, everybody. Thank you for attending today's Zoom information session. My name is Dan Truman, and I'm a recruitment officer at Loyalist College. I have Josh Powell, coordinator for our Cannabis Applied Science program with me today. Josh, before we get into the specifics of your program, can you tell the audience a little bit about yourself and your professional background? I was actually born and raised in Belleville, so I didn't make it too far in the end, but it is a great place to live and work. Um, I went to school at Queen's University in Kingston, where I jumped into a lab which focuses on plant molecular biology, and I stuck through did my master's and PhD, and part of my PhD was delving into the creation of a novel drug to treat cancer, antibiotic resistance, and fungus. And that was kind of my opening into using plant molecular biology as a treatment or a source of drugs throughout various epidemic diseases within society and what I think is kind of the future of science research and technology. From there, um, as I was finishing up my PhD, I applied to a teaching position at Loyalist College where I jumped into the bioscience program, teaching anywhere, anything from biology, cell biology to math. I kind of covered it all. And then when the opportunity came to apply for the Cannabis Applied Science Coordinator, it's something I believe in. And not for recreational, my primary goal is the medicinal use of the plant and the drugs which are extracted. So it was a very natural fit for me that I went into it and here we are today. Well, we're very lucky to have you, Josh, somebody with such a, you know, a diverse dynamic background. Can you tell us a little bit about the Cannabis Applied Science program and, and kind of what makes it unique? Loyalist College was very quick on recognizing the importance of this industry. And we were one of the first, if not the first, applied science diploma or certificate within this industry. So what we do is we get the students hands-on with the plant to learn about the biology, the chemistry, how to grow, and how to create extracts and formulate the different products into usable um, materials, whether it's for recreational or medicinal applications. So we really get to work with it and we get to apply a lot of the theory in lab and see what the industry is currently doing. So it's very exciting in that sense. The Cannabis Applied Science program is a postgraduate program. Can you tell us a little bit about like what admissions requirements does someone need to have to get into the program? So being post-secondary, you do have to have a level of science background. So you can either complete our two-year technician diploma at Loyalist, whether it's environmental, biotech, or chemistry, or a lot of students that we're seeing applying are coming straight out of their undergrad, again, in science. If you don't have a peer science degree or diploma, there are prereqs in terms of hours in lab and in theory in terms of sciences, biology, and chemistry. So if you do go to our website, it does list it. It's 336 hours or equivalent of eight separate semester long theory courses and 252 hours or six separate semester long courses associated within biology, chemistry, and all the related fields. Wonderful, thank you. No problem. Josh, I always hear students talk about the wonderful placements they get through your program, which often leads to employment. Can you tell me a little bit about how your program connects students with industries through placements? Yes, and this is the probably one of the most exciting aspects of our um, program is most educational placements are one, two weeks long, where we roll out a four week placement and we treat it like a full-time job, 40 hours a week for the four weeks. So you really get into the company, you learn the ins and outs, and they essentially are onboarding you. So it's a natural fit for our students just to start their placement and stay with that company and keep that job. We've had great success last year through our placements. We had about an 85% hiring rate directly out of our diploma, but the few that didn't get a job weren't interested in jobs. So they took the courses for interest sake and went back to their original jobs. So we did have medical doctors, we weren't looking for a shift in terms of their careers, but for more knowledge and background oh, to apply cool. to the practice. So in essence, we had 100% hiring rate directly from our first year in the program. This year, we have had to mix it up a little bit through the pandemic, 
but I've been working with leaders in the industry. Um, Pierre Killian is um, a well-known individual. He was a VP at Hexo and he's working on other projects right now where we're hosting online sessions, bringing students one-on-one -on -one in a virtual setting with global leaders within the industry. And that's valuable in terms of getting to know people, through networking, seeing what the day to day aspects of the job are and what skills they're really looking for. So putting our students right in with the people who know the jobs, who are hiring and applying that to their skill set has been very successful so far this year. Josh, can you tell us a little about your program's experiential learning opportunities? Yes. So all of our courses are 60 hours of instruction, and we typically divide that up into 30 hours of theory, which gives you the knowledge, the background, and all the information which we take directly into the lab. So we're working with what the industry does work with right now, whether it's from ethanol extraction or critical carbon dioxide CO2 extraction, and we physically do what everyone's doing within the job field. Beyond that, um, cultivation, we've set up little grow chambers and places in the lab where we can experiment, change the different variables within the growing um, process. So whether it's soil, light, nutrients, even co-growing with other organisms. And on top of all of that, we typically do at least four field trips every year where we go directly to these um, buildings, the extractors, the industry itself, and we see how they're rolling out all these theories and techniques and doing what they do best. So we really kind of cover all aspects, the background, the hands-on carrying out the skills, and then we go to the actual companies and see what we're learning and how that's being used directly within the industry. Well, thank you. That's kind of a great segue, Josh, into my next question is, is uh, you, you speak a lot about the lab environment. Uh, so your students learn in the Applied Research Center for Natural Products and Medical Cannabis. And I know as I was around the college, it's a very, very cool looking space for students. It's, it's fairly new. Can you, can you kind of tell us about that unique space? So Dr. Kerry Cramp has done a lot of great work in developing this lab space and the grants that go with it. So we've been very fortunate with her hard work and the grants coming into the school to buy top of the line equipment, which allows us to assess, quantify, formulate, and pretty much play an intermediate role between the educational and the industrial world. So a lot of people in this area are coming to us to help out their industry and that not only puts us in a great position to keep updating, keep work going, but it also allows us to place students directly in the hands of these projects, which go directly into industry. So we really have a big step up compared to a lot of other diplomas in that we are putting students and the industry leaders right next to each other so we can learn from each other and see what they're really looking for in terms of skill sets, experimental techniques, and the future of this industry. So very fortunate to have this lab space and it's beautiful. The program is fairly new, but uh, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, where your graduates are going and some of their success stories? Yes. Um, so as legalization opens up around the world, we're gonna see many more jobs. And that's a very important factor that this is a young field and it's consumed almost all of the biotech related jobs in Canada. That being said, we've had graduates spread all the way across Canada, Saskatchewan, uh, mostly in Ontario, which is the highest dense um, population. But a lot of our graduates last year also ended up in California and throughout the States. So they're working as cultivation techs, they're working as extraction techs. We have a lot of R&D, especially in um, the United States where our students are going. So right now we've already um, have three graduates with jobs before even completing their certificate. And a lot of them are working towards GTA. Um, we have great connections with the company Metafarm and they have been hiring at least two to four students every year that we're running this program. So that's a great source and a great company for us to be friendly, work with, and understand what they need 
in terms of the advancements of this field. Very cool. So it's, it sounds like, you know, a career where somebody, uh, you know, they, if they want to stick around their area or they want to work internationally, it opens a lot of doors that way, correct? Exactly. Yeah, they're opening plants everywhere. The um, Metafarm just opened one in Australia. Oh, Europe's wow. really moving out plants and industry now. I mean, this really is the future of not just recreational, but medicinal formulations to treat everyday disorders. And it's interesting being in the middle of this COVID-19 pandemic in that there was an application for a clinical trial to use medicinal cannabis to help alleviate a lot of the symptoms of the disease. Oh, so wow. there's a lot of potential here. We're sitting on a big gold mine, I think. Josh, you know, I, I really thank you for uh, sharing all that information with us. That sounds like a very dynamic, unique program. Um, lastly, the last question I'm going to ask you is, is what do you love most about Loyalists? That's a great question. Um, Loyalists is welcoming. There's always someone there to smile, chat to, help you if you need it. I'm a big pusher for small schools that have big spirit. You get more one-on-one -on -one interaction with people, smaller class sizes. I mean, I remember going to school with lectures of 500. I am able to sit down and chat with every one of my students in my class. So that's a great opportunity, not just for our students, but also for our instructors, where we get to learn with each other and always advance what we do, what we know, and work like a great community. And it's been great so far. Well, Josh, we'd like to sincerely thank you today for, for taking time to discuss the Cannabis Supplied Science program with us. If anybody out there has any questions about this program or any other Loyalist College programs, please visit our website, book an advising appointment. Myself or one of my colleagues will reach out to you. You can also email recruiter at loyalistcollege.com. Thank you for watching and we look forward to hearing from you.